Hey, uh, Chris Johnson here, uh, the thrift shop picker. Today we will be at the local Goodwill in Marshalltown, Iowa, again, looking for some deals on items that we can upsell to my connections or people on eBay. Today I found some old-fashioned glassware, uh, some toys and odd collectibles. So stay tuned to see what we find. Yeah, funny story. I actually got a better suit one time uh, for free than anything I've ever seen in here. It was... Uh, cut all this out while I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> it was at a college giveaway uh, back when I was still in school. They were uh, doing stuff to help students for job interviews and one of the teachers had a really nice suit that he hadn't worn in years. So, you know, looked like it was brand new, got it nice and clean. So always be on the lookout for giveaways and stuff like that, because I've gotten some really good deals at a Salvation Army, not at the store, at one of their uh, sales at the actual Salvation Army in this town. Yeah, I did actually get this nice leather jacket in this very goodwill. Uh, the, inner lining of it was a little beat up but I got a guy for that so I got this really nice you know it's actually a $50 jacket uh, if I was gonna go get it on the internet but uh, got it for about 21 here back when I was in high school they had us do these type of pottery you know glasses mugs and I can always spot them yeah, I'm surprised they let them use this this is one of the higher end uh, uh, colors. Oh, <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, all of the items that I commented on in the last video but didn't buy, I came in two days later, none of them were still here. It's usually pretty easy to spot uh, old-timey glass from like the 20s or 30s it's usually this type of softer color but this one is a little newer you can tell because the older ones don't have the seams along the side can you get that yeah you spot a seam uh, it's new another good example right here uh, let's see always got to be careful looking for the dings and the chips uh, it's a little tougher on pieces like this with the uh, texture. It's hard to spot the seams where the glass was formed if it's a newer piece. That's why I usually look on the bottom. Really? A dollar? I think I'm gonna get this. Another way to spot fake silver if it's been on the shelf for a while. Yeah, back in here this looked like basically uh... Shoot, I don't do much cooking. What do you call this? Domestics? Yeah, that's it. This like sign up there. Oh, what do you know? Uh, last video, uh, be sure to uh, go back and watch it. Uh, we found a pretty nice Harry Potter mug and I looked that up online. That was going for about, you know, 12, 15 bucks a pop. Uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, good movie. What do we have here? Uh, just looks good. This is one of those uh, kind of like ugly sweaters. I see pieces like this all the time up in the antique store. Uh, it's a nicer style, I kind of like it, but they're really hard to move. I don't know what it is, people just want too much for them I guess. I mean this one here is a $3.99, I don't think I can make much money on it for that price. Ah. Here's a nice piece. You'll see these in here occasionally, but not every day. This is what you call the redneck wine glass. Uh, this actually looks like an authentic one, not homemade. Uh, you can always tell if the candlestick part is uh, super glued to the uh, canning jar. It's uh, probably just someone doing it at home. If it's all one piece, then it's probably one from the uh, makers. Those are nice, but I've already got a few. If you see things like this, always uh, move your thumb or finger along it. If uh, 
this has a raised texture along the silver part. It's actually silver overlay on the glass. I don't like doing uh, pieces like this that have the anniversaries because they're a little harder to move than the ones with just the flowers on them. So I'm going to pass this one up today. Oh, I was wondering if this would still be here. I saw this in here the other day. Uh, this was one I, uh, I almost bought a couple of days ago when I first saw it because it's a uh, Cheers brand. It's a cut this out. And I got home, looked it up. It's you know only about you know, five six bucks, but it's a cool mug if you're a fan of the show. All of these right here are 22k gold overlay uh, on the corn cobs. It's another thing, if you like the style and are a collector, go for it. I see them every couple of weeks in our goodwill, but again, really hard to move. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Here's one. Uh, this is actually the second one of these I found in this particular goodwill. Uh, it's one of the older Lego sets from the mid-90s. I remember it. I was about, you know, five, six at the time. Uh, I got the last one and sold it to a guy. Uh, these actually go for about uh, 10, 15 bucks if they have the screw on bottom. Now I hunted around in here for it and just could not find it. So I'm not gonna take a chance on this guy. Okay. They are meant to be used as stamps of some kind. I think they're knockoffs because uh, when I go into an antique store, the bottoms are usually you know wood or something and the tops are rubber. I mean, it, it, would it be in a case like this if it was something that was, like, uh, from the early 1900s? It's always fun looking in these old-fashioned cases, seeing what you can find. Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm not as big an expert on the brands and stuff, so I don't know if this is something. Yeah, this one, that's why I didn't buy it when I saw it a couple days ago. It, $3.99, I didn't want to take a chance on it. I got to go home and look it up. Because <sighs> I don't have eBay on my phone. Hmm, made in China, now it's newer. How do you know the sticker's not just made in China? <laughs> you. Egg safe oh how the heck do you get this thing open hmm egg safe power I'm a PC man so I don't know what this is worth it's also good to know what local vendors are looking for at uh, resale shops because uh, I went into a local antique store the other day and she's like man I just cannot keep shadow boxes in look for shadow boxes and it's like oh okay that's cool and I was house sitting for somebody and just driving down the road and I saw a bunch of junk just sitting on the side of the road uh, on somebody's front lawn it's like oh okay you know they obviously don't want it so what do we got here? And lo and behold, I found uh, an old-fashioned shadow box, and I took it into the antique store. She had sold within a week. Also found uh, old-fashioned wrought iron uh, lamp uh, with a marble base. Got it for absolutely free, and the lampshade looked like it was brand new. Still worked. Uh, I think if she sells it at this uh, antique shop, I'd clear about eh, 30 bucks out of the deal. And these guys are kind of cool. I know what they are because I got one for my dad. Uh, these are actually only made by, I think, one or two companies. And if you can find them for two bucks and you know someone who will like them, uh, these are a really good buy at you know, a Goodwill or Salvation Army. But like I said, my dad's already got one. Stuff like this you'd have to sell locally because it's too dang heavy to ship. Uh, unless you did it first class, I think you might be able to get away with shipping this one for like, you know, five bucks. Uh, what is it? Where is it, though? Uh, oh, yeah. Always uh, look over this stuff really good because the steeples busted off. I uh, would not be able to sell this one in its condition. That is actually nicer. It's a little older than I thought it was. 
I'll bite. Ah, real good example here. Uh, I didn't show you in the last video because I didn't find anything that I could use this on. I, well, let me see if I can get it out. Always carry a magnet on my keys to make sure uh, stuff like this isn't made out of silver. Uh, huh, if the magnet sticks to it, then it most definitely is not a precious metal. But in this case, it's not. So it might be, you know, copper or really dirty brass. And in some cases, it's sterling. Huh. How much is this, anyways? Three bucks, I might take a chance on this. Because it's actually got the right kind of tarnish to be silver. But uh, yeah, this is one of the most uh, powerful magnets you can get. It's uh, off of a computer's hard drive. Real pain in the neck to get them out, but as you can see, it does its job. If you're into shells and collecting, always look for stuff like this. See if you can get it for two or three bucks. This one, uh, I've seen big ones like this at a store. She wanted like 20 or 30 for them. This one's $4.99. You're actually not supposed to pick up stuff like this on the sh uh, beaches anymore. Uh, they got uh, laws that say you can't do it. So when you see them in a place like this, if you like to collect them, uh, and or have a couple bucks to spare, uh, they're a good buy. Stud poker chips, uh, 200 count. Box is a little beat up. Oh, ooh, look at that. Yeah, these are old. No dates or anything on these. What was the price? <laughs> They're free! No. Uh, oh, we forgot to get through the books. Oh, hey, here's a nice set if you like the uh, uh, vampire genre. Oh, four bucks. That's actually a pretty good buy. Uh, the Twilight Saga, this is a nice box set. I've seen people trying to sell this on Facebook for sale groups for 20, 30 bucks. So if you like them, uh, five bucks is a steal. It is Obama. Ooh. Can you read that? I cannot read that. Merry Christmas. Dang. Um, what's the rest of this say? Uh, it's probably the name. Shoot, it's not the author. Man, I was excited for a minute there. <laughs> hey, maybe one day you'll find a signed Bible. <laughs> Jesus himself. I've actually seen the Dead Sea Scrolls. They're pretty cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. With a sign. Oh, final. I don't read uh, Hebrew. I don't like to chance cameras, personally, because it's a little hit or miss. Uh, what I do is when a place like the Salvation Army is throwing uh, a bunch of cameras out because no one's bought them for a while, I'm like, hey, you know, I can help save you some money on your garbage bill. Uh, one time I actually found one, taking them apart. It had a whole circuit board that was gold-plated on one side. Now that is cool. Right there, this is pewter, which me generally means it's a little older. So this is a good piece to... Uh, buy right off see what it's worth because that's really nice design I don't know dang he's missing his beak well pewter what is pewter made of? pewter what is pewter it's a metal that they used for figurines and stuff I'm assuming it's an alloy I don't think so actually Oh. oh, come on. This, is, mm. this one's really cheap. Uh, now, here's something I'm going to get. Because is at this point, uh, about August, this will be worth something in a couple months uh, come Christmas time. And this, you know, two bucks, it originally retailed for eight. There's usually a pretty decent markup on older Disney items and Christmas 
stuff after a couple years. Good example would be the Mickey Mouse uh, snow globes. Uh, they used to do those in the malls at J.C. Penny for Christmas. Don't think they do them anymore. But uh, we have a whole collection of those, uh, snow globes. Yeah, advertising. Uh, you'd have to find the right edition. There's one that I've seen sell for about thirty-five dollars, and you need the right buyer because that had about uh, ten or twenty listings, but only one of them had sold. You always got to go into the sold listings when you're checking prices on eBay. Uh, another website I like to use is uh, Board Game Geek. Uh, it's got a little bit of a forum to it so you can find out a little bit of history for your online listings. You see horses like this, they're generally uh, antique pieces. Uh, this would be a good one to take if I want to make a little bit of an investment. I think what it's about you know, $16. This would be good to take into a consignment place for antiques, but I'm not going to chance this one because uh, I don't know if she's got any buyers for it. Miscellaneous, always fun. Oh. Huh. Ah, too bad. Good brand, but like I was saying, if you got chips along the side, uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> now that's cute. Ooh, 1988, and this is unopened. I'm gonna get this because I know a guy who likes anything vintage that is still packaged. Good find. Made in Brazil. Let's get a closer look at this. That's nice. This is an old fashioned style, if nothing else. I think it's homemade. It's not a traditional shadow box, though. Oh geez, this is for wall hanging. And it doesn't have any hardware on the back. Because it's got busted off. Ah. Now this would be a good piece if you're looking to, you know, find something that's unique that only needs a little bit of touch-up work. I'm just a flipper myself. I like things that I can just buy and then sell to somebody who knows what's worth. Ah. I don't like having to take uh, a drill to them. What do we got over here? <laughs> uh, if there's stuff on top of it, it's usually pretty easy to find toys in here. Uh, I like toys myself because uh, if people know what they are, like you know, Pokemon figures. Uh, you can actually get a pretty decent markup and if you're shipping them to an online buyer it's uh, really low shipping for toys got them later well that works oh jeez. well i think that's all for today we got lucky good eye on some of these smaller items uh, these will be really easy to move uh, in a couple months and ship if I need to. So feel free to like and subscribe and catch us next time in the next video. I'm really glad I opened this up and took a look at it. If you see along here, it's got this overlay and this really nice pattern, but it would have been right here on the top, but it isn't anymore, so hmm, don't know if it's worth a chance.